everyone. Um, making sure I'm recording here. I'm in the middle of decorating the plant room for Christmas because, um, why not? <laughs> we have a lot of time here at home and Consuelo, although she doesn't enjoy doing the decorating herself, she really likes it. Um, so I like to make it pretty for her. Um, so just a couple things. I didn't plan this out ahead of time, but I just feel the need to talk about it. So bear with me, I guess, or don't and click off. Um, first off is, hello, I don't know, run in with my neighbor tonight, um, who has just moved away, just left her house empty, um, and went to Florida for, I don't know why, but, uh, she came back tonight and she texted me and said, Hey, I'd like to come over and visit the chickens. Um, do you mind? I'm being safe and I have a mask on. And I, I thought, okay, that sounds fine. So she came over with a cloth mask. I had a, an intense N95 that Consuelo gets for us, like a really good one. Um, so I thought we were okay. We're outside, right? But we went to the pen because I had put the girls up for the night. And um, she was talking to them and visiting with them. And she just kept, like, staying in there. And it's all closed in, you know, for the winter. And I was like, okay, like, can we go now? But, you know, everything was still cool. And then we came outside, and then that's when she told me that she had flown home, which, honestly, it didn't even occur to me that someone would get on an airplane right now. Um, I see them going overhead occasionally. Not as much as there used to be, but, you know, I don't think of, like people that I know as being that like insane to get on an airplane right now and further that three people at least on the plane right near her right by her maybe behind her refused to wear masks or were saying that the virus wasn't real and I'm like uh and you felt like you needed to then visit me in the chicken pen like which is clo like and then she further goes on to tell me that she's going to drive across the state to visit some family because she wants to see them. And she's got some business to take care of regarding the house. And it's really important. And I was just, I was losing it. Like, I'm like, that's lunacy. I must have said lunacy. Like, that was my last words to her. That's lunacy. <laughs> I can't, I can't fathom this level of selfishness anymore. It's beyond comprehension to me <coughs> it's literally beyond comprehension and I can't what is this normalcy bias that will cause people to literally send other people over a cliff and this woman has a bunch of underlying supposedly health conditions so she's not like in the best shape and but, but she just kept repeating, but I have stuff to do. And I'm like, I haven't seen my, my own family, children in my own, not my own children, obviously, children in my own family in a year and a half because of this. And their voices have changed. They're probably all 10 feet tall now. I don't know what they, I wouldn't recognize them in the crowd now. But, and it breaks my heart. It breaks everybody's hearts. But it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter because... Because we just need to do this one, like, but we won't, we won't. We're in the most selfish, childish people. I heard Australia's having, like, mass musical concerts again because, duh, because it's safe, because they got it under control, but we'll never, ever get there. We will never get there. We suck so bad. And so my last words were, this is lunacy, and I ran in. I gave myself the Karen Silkwood treatment, um, including... This is not medical advice, but I'm going to tell you something. I got some Ivermectin off Amazon, which is apple flavored ostensibly for horses. But if you read the reviews, you can, you can see what else people use it for. Well, one of my internet sources says there's a ton, he cited actually a whole bunch of studies that show that it's um, really helpful. And so I'm not giving you medical advice, but I personally, and Consuelo, because she has to go out and work, or, uh, you know, whatever. Um, do with that what you will. <sighs> I 
and and if everybody whatever i mean we could be done with this next week but people are so stubborn and stupid and won't you know maintain their territory i also took elderberry tonight i took extra nac to clean up the system i washed everything that i had come in contact with her like it's not hard to do and it takes very little time but um that this which is why the hair right i washed and dried it i'm so feral now <laughs> I haven't had hair this long since college. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we're an insane people. And so that's what happened. I left my neighbor with the words, this is lunacy. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about just real quick is um, it, <laughs> yelling transphobic at somebody is not like an argument for your for why we should disregard biological reality and make sure that girls and women are safe in their sa in their spaces and in their persons and in their sports and in their prisons etc cetera, etc cetera. that is not actually an argument it's just you yelling a made up word i am reality ba biased i am reality based and you can you're going to have to kill me to get me to stop and if you take over the platforms, because you know what? There's lots of trans dudes, twines dudes that work in IT, believe me. Ask me how I know. And that's why they've shut down, apparently, the Reddit forums that used to be for women. I hear from uh, one of the gals, Michelle, who watches this channel. And <laughs> that doesn't make it true. You can yell the virus isn't real all day long. It doesn't make it true. You can yell, males are women, trans males are women all day long. It doesn't make it true. You sound like our president. Oh, the election was rigged. The election was rigged. Well, you know what? All you're doing is projecting. That's all he does. You, you just, you're afraid. I don't know. I don't know what his motivations are. I think he's a crazy person, but you're afraid. You have a very strong normalcy bias. You have a very strong bias to virtue signal be accepted by um, the powers that be, which is usually males and het women, you really need to shut the fuck up about males in women's spaces because you've made a deal. If you'll read, which I know you won't, but here's a book y'all should read, uh, Andrea Jorkin's Right Wing Women. She explains why you're acting the way you act. And I'm not saying it, it isn't, um... You know, in hell world where we live, it's a it's a logical way to proceed. But you know what males are. You know what they are. And you're going to let them in with some girls because it's not going to be your girls, you think, right? Well, one day you're going to turn around and it's going to be your girls. It's going to be your sports team. It's going to be your rugby player that you know that gets a broken leg. It's going to be your... FM, what is that called, those fighters, that gets a broken orbital socket. It's going to be some girl that knows some girl you know that gets raped in prison. It's They are erasing us, erasing us. And it starts with lesbians, and we all know you hate us because I think because we're happy here in hell world because we're happy because we know. And the spinster, shout out, always and forever. To my blessed spinster sisters who are hot, tragically, yet know what males are and have made the necessary choices as a result. But the rest of y'all, sell yourselves down the river all you want. You, but I mean, you know you're also selling us down the river. It's like not wearing a mask. You know, it's fucking you, but it's also fucking everyone around you. So... This is, um, I think this is a problem with, boy, I am talking tonight. You can click off whenever you want. But I think this is a real issue with Americans. We have this crazy individualist mindset that we refuse to give off. And here in the future, where the same people would like to live, it needs to stop. It's a collective mindset, a local, collective, community-based mindset, and it's always grounded in a deep deep understanding and respect for biology and reality so in the now to the important part so in chicken news today i'm so sorry i haven't been doing chicken videos we we've, we've been having a really good time and yesterday i got three eggs three 
So, okay, so Berenice, you already knew, was laying. And then little brown Morella. Oh, my gosh, she is so sweet. Morella's laying. And I think the other one is Lenore. She's the giant one. But her comb is not coming in yet, so I don't understand, like, how she's already laying. But she's my little. All she ever says is, uh-oh. <laughs> she's like the raven, but instead of nevermore, she says, uh-oh. <laughs> All the time. And they are really enjoying um, leftover dried out cat food, both the wet kind and the dry kind. Um, they had some leftover pork chops tonight that they freaking ate in two seconds. <laughs> and um, tomorrow they're going to get some liver. I'll try and make some video of it because I know I've been terrible and it's supposed to be sunny. But um, anyway, <sighs> males can't become women. The virus is real. I don't know what to tell y'all, but to my reality-based sisters, hang in there, hang in there, because someday, I don't know, maybe the aliens will come and make it all stop. <laughs> oh, reality-based aliens. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Bye.